<laughs> Why the flower? When we were building this, I mean, the most important part was the question, Yannick, what are we going to do about this flower? If we're going to go all the way to doing organic items and making sure that our customers are taken care of, then we have to provide them something better. So one of the questions was, what, what, that? what flower are we going to use? So I remember the day we went to all the distributors and the vendors and we said, do you guys have French flower? Do you guys have French flower? And they all look at us like we were aliens. Why are you looking for French flower? There's much, many flowers in the United States. And then we're like, no, we're sticking to this French flower because it is pure, pure. We want it to do authentic food the way our ancestors did it. So in order to do that, we knew that we wanted to do the same, use the same flower that they were using. Well, flour has been altered a little bit too much here. So we wanted to stick with something that was very, very authentic to the way it was done back in the days. So then we were told there's no such thing here. So Yannick and I looked at each other. And we were like, are we really going to dare to do this? So Yannick says, I'm just going to contact the miller that my grandfather used to use and my dad. And that's how the flour a la colma came to be. We became our own broker and we had to do the work bring in a 40 foot container truck. And I remember Yanni getting this, this uh, pallet jack and moving flower bags everywhere. And people were like, why are you doing this? Why are you going so far on this? You don't have to do that. And then the reward came. So we get to open the doors for La Colma and we're having customers after customers coming to us and just giving us this reward back for our, our hard work. And one of the customers, I will never forget her, it's just women, beautiful Martha, white hair, beautiful lady. And she says, I have celiac. And I'm like, celiac? Oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to recommend anything to you. I really suggest you really don't eat any of my stuff. I didn't have any idea that, you know, if you have celiac, that you can eat flour, it's gluten. So she says, oh, don't worry, honey, don't worry. I got it from here. I've been eating your bread for over a week and I have no reaction. So when I heard that, I was like, oh my God, I meant to tell you, honey. And now the question, why the flower is that reward, the reward of having our customers coming to us and telling us that we changed their life. And please don't change the flower because we want to keep eating bread. This lady didn't eat bread for 50 years after she was diagnosed with that. And like I said, I'm not a doctor and I'm not recommending, you know, for anyone who has celiac to come and eat my bread, but she did it on her own. And then coming to me and telling me about her experience changed everything. Now the 40 foot container sweating in the hot heat in Florida, picking up flour and doing it ourselves was worth it. So yes, now that we're going to reopen again, we're sticking to our plan. We're going to use the French flour and give our customer back what they deserve because it's all about integrity and honesty and respect for what we do and we respect mother nature and that's why we want to use something that is authentically given to us by mother nature and not altered by science